This is the Gingham Farm collection from my mind's eye. And let's just take a peek as to what's going on because they do their papers a little differently. So let me set this aside and scoot this and show you what you get. Now in their paper collection, you're going to get six sheets of double-sided paper. This is 12 by 12. So let me show you those sheets. Again, this is Gingham Farm, so you can see that. And on the back side, you get just this giant plaid, and then a darker image of the same one that we just saw, and then you get that plaid, some birds and words, <laughs> and then another. And then you this, this one, which is really interesting in the way our design team used it. So just remember, let's see, together, is our favorite place to be. Okay, remember that for a second. So you can use this as it is or cut it apart. On the back side, you have some stripes. Everything is in this black and cream with a little bit of green. And here is an all over pattern of sprigs. We've got this giant flowers on the other side. And then this um, random X's, and I'll show you how that can be used with, again, another plaid. So you get all of those, one of each one, but there's also a bonus in all of their papers, which is a set of stickers. Now this happens to be 36 of them. And I think it's really nice to have this as a nice bundle. Then if you decide that you are a card maker, this is going to be fine for you. Everything's gonna coordinate. But there are some additional things if you want that. By the way, if you're a scrapbooker, you may wanna get two sets. That way you've got ones that coordinate or you can use cream cardstock or black cardstock to extend all of this. Now, I love the fact that they have washi tape and it comes like this in a package. Each of these has 10 feet on it and they're just lovely. You can see that same um, plaid that was on the papers. There is a floral, just a beautiful arrangement, some uh, sprigs and then also another plaid so very nice very I think these would go with a lot of papers too and again just with regular cardstock but I'm not done yet because they also have what they call a mixed bag of die cuts this one has 62 so you can see with just the purchase of the papers and the um, uh, mixed bag as well as with the washi tape you've got a wonderful collection so just to show you what some of these are you've got words you've got um, die cut words as I said you've got animals in this case you've got a great big bow you can just see lots of goodies in here and let me show you some projects that the design team did. So here is a card, and you can tell uh, she used, uh, I think Debbie did this, no, Lene did this. She used three different papers and stacked them, which is really nice. You can see that the die cut she used right there, and the bow, which is also here, she foam tape on top. And that just does a really fast job to make a really distinctive card. Now, she also did a scrapbook page. Look at this. So that is the line, together is our favorite place to be, which I think is just beautiful. She put it on the background paper of the X's, and then this date, I think, is really a clever way to get the date on there, and that is one of the stickers as is the um, that row of houses. Then you've got some of the washi tape and you've got original, which is part of the die cut family. And I think it's really fun how Lene put some of the letters down flat and raised some on foam tape, just alternating that. And the two photos, making memories every day, adding some little embellishments to the sides of the photographs, as well as this really pretty spray of flowers. And then connecting them visually with that bird that spans both of the photos. So nice to have a sample way to use it for scrapbooking. It's been a while since we've done a scrapbook page also for your card making. So Gingham Farm is the name of this collection. You can buy everything individually or we'll put it we've put it together in a bundle for you and it's available that way.